Um, could we please talk about the French president just straight up accusing the Australian Prime Minister of lying for a second? Okay, so remember in September when Australia signed this massive deal with the US and UK to get these nuclear powered submarines? Well, that meant ditching a $90 billion traditional submarine deal that we already had with France. And despite the new deal being in the works for months, Morrison only gave Macron a few hours notice before the public announcement. Safe to say the French were pretty pissed about it. Six weeks later and the pair have finally spoken, first over the phone and then at the G20 summit in Rome. But along with the US president publicly calling Australia's handling of the deal clumsy, it does not seem that Macron's talk with Morrison went too well. You think he lied to you? I don't think. I know. Yeah, yikes. It is not often that you hear a leader say something like that about an ally. But Morrison point blank denies lying. No, I don't What's agree with that. That's not true. Look, it's unlikely that this represents some permanent rift between these two closely knit nations. But it has certainly taken the shine off Morrison's big I got us nuclear powered submarines victory moment. Oh, and to make matters worse, they're now both off to COP26 in Glasgow. So uh, more awkward encounters to come.